Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have a choice over where to have the christening of their baby Lilibet, which has the potential to become a major olive branch and heal wounds within the royal family. The couple, who now live in California, have yet to release information on when and where their new child Lilibet Diana Mountbatten, Windsor will be christened. Their newborn baby Lilibet is eighth in line to the throne and takes her name from her great-grandmother Queen Elizabeth's childhood nickname. The nickname was also used by the late Prince Philip, when referring to his wife. A royal expert has said that Meghan and Prince Harry now have choices over whether or not to release pictures of their daughter and name her godparents ahead of her christening. The way in which Meghan and Prince Harry do this could impact their strained relations with the royal family. Royal expert Daniela Elsa writing in News.com.au said, If the Sussexes were to decide they wanted the christening of Lily to happen back in the UK, perhaps even in September when it has been rumored that both Harry and Meghan will return to London, then it would be construed as an olive branch after years of intra, family squabbling and rancor. Ms. Elser said the location of Lilibet's christening has the potential to improve or further damage Prince Harry's relationship with the royal family. She continued, however if the Sussexes decided to hold the ceremony in California, thus precluding the Queen who no longer travels internationally from attending, it would be seen as nothing less than a clear rejection of the royal family. There is also a third option here, they decide to skip a baptism entirely. But again, this too would be read as deeply disrespectful to Her Majesty given she is, after all, the head of the Church of England. Ms. Elser spoke about the problematic dynamics behind Prince Harry and Meghan's godparent choices for their newborn. When the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's first child, Archie, Harrison, was born the details of his baptism were swiftly released. Official photos of baby Archie were also allowed to be released to the public. On July 1st, details about baby Archie's christening ceremony were released and less than a week later the family and close friends attended his ceremony. Speaking about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's need for privacy, Ms. Elser added, while they might desperately want to be able to offer their daughter a level of privacy that Prince Harry was never allowed to enjoy growing up in the royal fishbowl, the hard truth is that they do still occupy a strange nebulous place between public figures and private citizens.